Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you three different ways that you can increase the volume on your Windows 11 machine. It's actually quite straightforward, but some of the settings are a little bit buried. If this video does help you out and help solve your problems, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more hints and tips, and let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually take a look at our desktop here, okay? At the bottom, you have a search bar. So the first option is to actually come down to the search function and type in control panel. Uh, when you do this, you'll end up with the control panel, you give that a click, you'll end up with something that might look more like this when you first kind of use the control panel, go ahead and just choose this view by option and change it to large icons. And in doing so, you will notice you'll have sound just over here. If you give that a click, it's going to open up your sound. I'm just going to bring that into the middle of the screen here. Um, and you can see you'll have all of the different kind of things that are connected to your Windows machine. Okay. Now, in my particular case, this top one, this is my monitor. Okay, and for the most part, that's more than likely what you're going to have as your speakers. Otherwise, you might see things like speakers or headphones or different types of headphones if you've got different kind of sockets, right? Now, in this example, I'm just going to use this one right up here because this is, of course, the monitor, which I want to have the audio coming through. Okay, with that selected, we can go down to properties, give that a click. And it's going to load up all of these options for you right here. Okay, so you can see you're in the general tab, you've then got supported formats, levels, enhancements, supported formats, and or advanced, I should say, and then uh, spatial sound, right? So the first thing you want to do is you actually want to head on over to the enhancements tab, this one just here. You'll notice that there's a few different things in here that you can mess around with and test to see whether they work for you. You also have the ability to preview things. And the loudness kind of equalization is one that you might find if one speaker is kind of uh, louder than the other you might want to try to equalize that you can do that from here the other way of doing this of course is just to go to levels and here you can actually adjust the levels of your volume accordingly right and of course you can balance it and you can mess around with those settings okay so that's how you find the first set of settings when it comes to adjusting your audio okay um, and it's really important that you kind of you know adjust that now if we go ahead and close all of those down the easiest way that i find to actually do this is to navigate all the way down to the bottom right hand corner you'll see a little kind of wi-fi logo or an internet logo next to a kind of speaker icon you give that a click and you're going to load up these settings right here and then from here you can see that this is where you can adjust the volume you can lift it up you can bring it back down i usually have this hovering around 60 but you can adjust the audio right there you also have this little button next to it if you give that a click you can choose what your output is when it comes to your uh, sound right where your speakers are are they in the monitor are they in your headphones and it could be that you've actually got headphones selected rather than your monitor sounds so it's important that you select the right one here and at the bottom the third option of course is to navigate here and actually click on more volume settings if you give that a click you're going to load up the system sounds Okay, slightly different settings than we had before, but again, you can see where you want the sounds to be playing from. Okay, and you can go into each of these and you can adjust these settings as well and test them, which is more critically more important, right? Whether you want to have, you know, stereo quality, studio quality, DVD quality, CD quality, radio quality, all from directly here inside of your settings. Okay, so this is kind of a really useful way if you want it to be your default. So you can set your default here as well. Um, you can also do in enhancements as well uh, you can also check all of those settings out but hopefully guys this has helped you out quite uh, you know at least you found it quite helpful because there are quite a few different settings when it comes to you know um increasing your volume on windows 11 some of those settings are a little bit buried um, but ultimately just have a tinker see which ones kind of work best for you and uh, yeah hopefully this solves your problem if it does smash a like button subscribe for more and i'll catch you in the next one